Hello students. Today we will study unit number 4 which is electrical machines. So in this video we are going to understand the construction and the working principle of capacitor start induction motor. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time let us start this video. So first, this motor is a type of a single phase induction motor and this motor is started with the help of a capacitor. That is why its name is capacitor start induction motor. Now question may arise that how with the help of a capacitor this motor is started. So for that purpose, a simple answer is that that this capacitor will create a phase difference between the two currents which are flowing from the main winding and from the starting winding. How that thing we will study in this video. So now we will start with the construction. So for the construction we can say that that it has two windings. First one is known as main winding and other is known as starting winding. Now both of these windings are connected parallel with each other across suppose voltage V which is single phase AC supply. Okay. So from that AC supply supposing I current will come. So at this junction current will be divided. See from this branch I am current will flow. That is known as what current flowing from main winding and from this branch say I as current will flow means current flowing from the starting winding. Now that main winding is designed in such a way that it has high inductance and low resistance. That means that becomes what that becomes our series LR circuit. And for series LR circuit, we know one thing, what that whatever current is there, that current lags behind the potential that already we have studied for what? For the LR series circuit. Okay. Now, that the starting winding is designed in such a way that it has low inductance but high resistance. And that starting winding is connected in series with one capacitor. So that whole portion is known as a series LC circuit. And for series LC circuit, we know one thing. What? That whatever current is there that leads the potential, that leads the potential with some phase that also we have studied for what? For series LC. And that is for series LR. Okay. Now that is your IM current and that is your IS current because that is your series LC circuit and from that IS current is flowing. Okay. Now one centrifugal switch is there which is connected in series with that capacitor. That centrifugal switch is generally present in closed condition and that is our automatic switch means what that when this rotor will start to rotate up to its 70 percent speed of from its normal value then that uh, centrifugal switch will be open so that that start that starting winding will be separated from the main circuit and now rotor will keep continuing its rotation with the help of a main winding how to understand this we have to study the working principle so now we'll start with the working principle so in the working principle we can say that the current which is flowing from the main winding say I am lacks behind the potential lacks behind the potential voltage lacks behind the potential lacks behind the potential by some phase which is say phi m and the current which is flowing from the starting winding which is say I s leaves the potential the current which is flowing from starting widening will leads the potential by some angle or by some phase say phi s that is this type of diagram we have okay now due to that what's happened between two currents i s and i m phase difference is created which is alpha so if you will draw the parallelogram like this so that we will get the answer of resultant current so due to that resultant current what's happened magnetic field is produced according to the faraday's principle so that magnetic field direction will be this that is our magnetic field direction and that magnetic field field will produce what it will produce magnetic force that means over here in this direction magnetic force is produced in this direction magnetic force is 
produce this is the direction of magnetic force so that magnetic force will do what it will impart the magnetic force on this rotor so due to that rotor will get the initial torque so that now rotor will start to rotate in this direction and when rotor will start to rotate up to its uh, 70 percentage value from its normal speed then centrifugal switch will be open will be open so that now no current will flow from the starting winding so that rotor will keep continue to rotate with the help of only main winding so that is all about the working principle of this uh, motor and now we'll understand its uh, torque speed uh, characteristics so for that purpose that is speed axis that is the percentage of full load torque now from the diagram we can say that if you want to start this motor at that time you have to supply 100 percentage of torque from its maximum load value when speed is increasing at that time torque is also increasing you can say now torque will increase up to its maximum breakdown torque and after that torque will start to decrease and becomes zero when Synchronous speed is equals to actual speed of the rotor. Now synchronous speed means what? It is such a speed which is given by the stator. And uh, N means actual speed means what? It is such a speed at which rotor is rotating. So generally whatever actual speed is there that is less than synchronous speed. Okay, now we'll understand about its applications. So they are used in this type of motor is used in drilling machines, centrifugal pumps, in flour mills, in grinders, in refrigerators and in air conditioners. So this video may be So till then read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.